welcome back to the channel if i look tired it is because i am i'm exhausted it is currently it is 10 19 p.m and we put von down an hour ago and mama is ready for some me time okay like i am in desperate need of some pampering i have not washed my hair you guys and i feel like i've had a dollar every time i said that but I plead the fifth. No, but for real, I am not gonna say the exact amount of days because I know I'm gonna get judged. Even if y'all go a long time without washing your hair too, if I say the, the number. You know what, guess how many days I've gone without washing my hair. Guess down below and the winner, and the winner will get, no, because I don't wanna admit to it. But I just wanna see y'all's guesses. This is what my hair looks like right now. But see, the thing is, you guys, my hair lasts really well. Like I will say, I have trained my hair so well. I've just gone pretty much like my whole life going a while without washing my hair. So truly my hair does not start to look like this and get oily. And honestly, it looks like this because I put product to like slick my hair back for like buns and stuff. But if I just like leave my hair, it really doesn't get that oily until like a good amount of time has passed. So I'm pretty lucky with that. But anyways, I'm going off on a tangent. I just need to wash my hair. I need to tan. I don't look super pale right now. I do have still like some of my tan from um, Hawaii. I don't know if you guys can see my tan line. Yeah, you guys can see a little bit. But yeah, you guys know I'm gonna go ahead and do my tan. I've actually been preferring to do my tan at home than going to the salon. I'm gonna set the mood. I'm gonna turn on the candle. This has been my favorite candle, you guys. I wanted to show y'all. Um, I got it from Target. It is the Casa Luna brand. And this one is the Clarity Candle. So it has grapefruit and ginger, but it smells so good. And I have my super cute lighter I got from Amazon. So you just turn it on so you guys can see. And you also charge it. See that little charging port? Um, so it's rechargeable, but it is the best, especially if you have nails. Okay, we're setting the mood, setting the ambiance. Speaking of hair, I wanna give a huge shout out to today's sponsor for this video, which is Way. I cannot believe I'm working with Way for this video. I've been such a huge fan of the brand for so many years, like literally since like, I don't even know, like freshman year of high school, I've been such a huge fan of the brand. So I'm just so excited to be working with them for today's video. The second they reached out to work with me, I was like, no hesitation. Of course, I would love to work with you guys. So I actually went on their website and I took a quiz and they matched me with all of the perfect products for my hair. So just answer some questions about how I like to style my hair and my hair care routine and my hair type and stuff like that. And they matched me with everything that I need for my hair. When I tell you guys their products, just stop what you're doing, go to your local Ulta, go to your local store and just like smell their products. The second you guys smell it, they even have like body care products too, like body washes. The scent is intoxicating. It literally smells like a bougie, expensive salon. So clean, so good. So I've been using their detox shampoo. I need detox shampoo. If you guys have not been using detox shampoo and you guys go as long as I do with not washing your hair, you are definitely missing out. So this kind of just resets your hair, starts you from you know ground zero, just strips your hair of all of the dry shampoo you've been using, all of the oils, all of the hair products, and really just gives you that clean base, especially if you're into doing blowouts. This is key. If you're not using a detox shampoo and you're trying to do blowouts, for a blowout to truly be bouncy, your hair needs to be weightless. And to be weightless, you guys need to strip it of all the oil, all of the gunk, anything that's weighing your hair down. So I always start out with using a detox shampoo and also my little scalp scrubber. Then I go in with a regular shampoo from Whey, and then I also go in 
with their conditioner and then i also always use the mask because again i don't wash my hair that often so i always like to go back in with the mask especially if you're using a detoxifying shampoo definitely go back in with a mask to bring that moisture back into your hair the moisture that you stripped so this is the one from way as well the fine to medium hair it's super hydrating it smells so good and i just love the aesthetic of the products i feel like in this day and age if a product doesn't match your aesthetic like you're not going to be as inclined to buy it, you know what I mean? So I just love how their products are so sleek, so simple, so pretty. It just looks so nice in your shower. One product that has been a game changer for me, this has been new in my routine. It's actually new from Way as well. It is their scalp serum. Now, I am a super rough on my scalp, like I've said. And you guys know I'm all about the sleek buns, the sleek ponytails. And you can really see it like in my hair. I actually saw this TikTok and it was like girls that grew up cheerleading and dancing as you guys know as a ballerina growing up it was like girls that grew up like dancing and cheerleading like y'all are starting to bald on the sides and i'm like oh you are so right and the thing is me and kayla like always like talk about that and she was like a dancer too growing up so i like sent her that tiktok and i'm like we cracked the code this is why we're balding on the sides but no guys for real i'm like so rough on my scalp like i always like my hair to be snatched like this like when i'm doing my you know updos and my buns like it just like you know sleeks everything back your cheekbones your eyebrows everything looks so good but in turn you're also you know tugging the crap out of your scalp so that is why i'm just so happy i discovered this product like my scalp needs it so bad especially once i have the twins and i go through you know postpartum hair loss again this is going to be my secret weapon so this just promotes fuller hair thicker hair and it just creates like an ideal environment for your scalp it just helps to balance it it helps to hydrate it and as you guys can see it's just a little dropper so you only apply you know a few drops to your scalp every single day so yeah guys healthy hair starts at the scalp it truly is quite literally the roots to everything so make sure you guys check out this new product you guys can actually go to the way.com and use my code which i'll put on the screen right here to get 15 percent off your entire purchase it's such a good deal you guys so make sure you guys go to the way.com it's t-h-e O-U-A-I.com. I'll put a link to it down below for you guys and make sure y'all use my code to get 15% off. So with that being said, I'm gonna hop in the shower, wash my hair with my products and our hair is about to smell so good. I'm so excited. And we can move on with our blowout. We can move on with our tan. There's nothing that will exhaust you more than being a parent and being pregnant at the same time. Like, who having a toddler and being pregnant with twins is not for the week. I'm gonna give myself some credit because it has not been easy. Speaking of the twins, let me give you guys a little bump update before I hop in the shower. I'm actually 22 weeks today, which is crazy. But here is what we're looking like. You guys can see it's my little baby bump. But yeah, that is the belly. somebody's grandma right now i'm just letting my hair dry a little bit before we use our round brush and do our blowout i'm gonna shave my face i honestly haven't shaved my face in a minute i was like taking a selfie and i'm like literally when i turn to the side you can see the little hairs so it is time to shave them so you guys know i'm i swear by tinkles razors i've used these since i was in high school they're amazing you can buy them in bulk from amazon so i'm just using this 
And then I like to apply an oil to my face. So the one I've been using lately, um, just in my skincare routine in general, I mix a few drops of this with my moisturizer as well. This is the Trader Joe's jojoba oil. I've been really loving Trader Joe's products, you guys, like their beauty products. You guys saw in the shower, I love their shaving cream. It's like a shaving balm, actually. It's like a serum. Um, it's amazing. I literally buy like three of them every time I go to Trader Joe's. And I love the oil. And then I also love their hyaluronic um, acid gel cream. I'll show you guys once I like go to bed and stuff. But that moisturizer, the whole family has been using it. We've been using it on Kayvon because it's unscented. Mel has been using it. It's just amazing. So I'm going to use a few drops of this. Just rub it. To my skin. I always take a little stack of tissue because my fingers are a little oily um, just to give me grip and I'll like hold my skin taut like this and then I'll just go ahead and shave. I usually sit closer to the mirror so I'm actually going to go ahead and look closer in the mirror like once I just show you guys how I do it but yeah as you can see I just hold my skin taut with the tissue and then I go ahead and shave. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my face and I'll be right back. So I just finished shaving my face. Then what I do is I take my micellar water. I did cleanse my skin in the shower. Um, I'm just gonna take on some cotton pads. And this is just to like wipe off any like oil left over or um, little hairs. I'm gonna pop on an eye cream. I've been loving this one for nighttime. This is the Ule Henriksen. Oh, there's a hair on that, I'm sorry. Um, Ule Henriksen Banana Bright Eye Cream. Just popping on my Curology. Then I'm putting on my favorite lip balm ever, the Laneige Sleeping Lip Mask. Let's take my hair down. I think I'm gonna go ahead and tan tomorrow because I barely have the energy right now to even like do my hair. So to tan and do my hair sounds like a lot. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and Work on the blowout. You guys know I use my Revlon brush. It's back there, you can probably see it. But I always, um, I use my regular blow dryer and I just go ahead and like blow dry the roots. You don't wanna have wet roots when you use the blow dry brush. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Before I start, you can, oh my gosh, you can really see my roots in this lighting. Oh, oh my goodness. But anyways, um, I'm just giving myself a little scalp massage with the serum it feels so good you guys like i said it really does soothe like an irritated scalp and it's like so cooling i'm just giving myself a little massage so yeah i'm really focusing it on those patches of hair it feels so good Hello you guys, it is the next night. Like I said, I was way too tired after my hair routine to do anything else. I just went right to sleep. And you know, I could have just edited it like I was just doing everything in one night, but I just wanted this to be super realistic. I cannot do all my beauty, you know, maintenance routine in one night. It completely exhausts me. So um, I like to split it up, especially like getting my nails done too. I definitely need to go in and get them done soon if you guys can see they're a little overgrown i'll probably go in in the next few days to get these done but you guys know i always get gel x french tips so if you guys are wondering what i do for my nails i just get gel x and yeah i love gel x 
Um, so for my tan, if you guys have been watching me for a while, you guys know what I use. I've been using, oh, by the way, this is how my hair turned out. I didn't even like mention anything about my hair. But yeah, this is second day hair. I literally just brush it in the morning, that's it. And that is how I get my hair to look like this. With that routine, I just style my hair and then I don't touch it up for as long as I wanna go without washing my hair. I'll use dry shampoo like towards the very, very end if I even do. Sometimes I just go straight into doing like my sleek styles. And then you guys know the drill. I always tie my hair with silk scrunchies to sleep and this helps, you know, preserve my blowout. So enough about my hair, let's move on to my tan. Like I said, if you guys have been watching me for a while, you know what tan I use. I've been using the same tan since literally middle school. Um, this is the Loving Tan 2 Hour Express. So Loving Tan has the 2 Hour Express and they have the regular um, tan that takes about 6 to 8 hours to develop. I always like to get the 2 Hour Express one just so I have that option. But I usually just sleep in it. Like I'll keep this on for like 6 hours to be honest. Um, six to seven hours and I haven't seen it cause any problems for me and unfortunately for the two hour um, tan the darkest you can get is dark but if you were to get the regular tan you could get um, ultra dark too but I love this tan it never looks orange on me it never looks you know too much it really just gives you that really pretty glow and it has that olive undertone so this just always worked out for me. And then I wanna also show you guys some of my other favorite tanning products that I just recently discovered. So this is the Bali, Bali Body Gradual Tan. And I will use this to extend my spray tan or my you know self tan. I'll just start using this like probably on like day three as like my moisturizer. And this just helps your tan last a little bit longer. So again, it's literally a moisturizer. It does have a little bit of a scent. It's kind of like that Jergens lotion. You know what I mean? Oh my God, if I was to like smell that, it would take me back to a time. But yeah, it basically is kind of like that Jergens, you know, gradual moisturizer. But this is really great. Like it comes with a lot of products. So I also use this. And then also for my face, I do like not really tan my face. Um, but since I haven't really been wearing makeup that much lately, I keep on putting my hair behind my ear and then I keep on moving it. I'm so sorry. It's because of this. See how this like swoops in? It's like kind of bothering me. You just like move it to the back. Um, and then for my face, what I've been doing is ever since I started using my um, Elta MD sunscreen every day, the tinted version, I haven't really worried too much about like my face being tan, but I recently also discovered these Isle of Paradise self tanning drops and my bottle is so dirty. Hold on, focus, thank you. Um, but yeah, this is for the face and the body. You just apply a few drops to your moisturizer and it gives you a really pretty glow. So I'm a lot more comfortable now using tan products on my skin now that my skin has cleared up. But if I was having acne problems, acne flare-ups, I would just not even bother with like tanning products because the less chemicals, the less stuff I'm putting on my face, the better. So that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and do my tan. I have to do that off camera, obviously. But yeah, I'm, I think I'm like almost done with this. I think after this tanning session, I need to go repurchase another one. So I'm gonna tan real quick and I'll see you guys in a second. I just applied my tan. You can see it on my chest. Again, I don't put it on my face. With tan, like you're not gonna see the true color until, you know, you let it develop, then you have to wash it off, then it's gonna look like your tan is completely gone. And then over time, it will like, during the day, it will get darker. That is why it's so important, you guys, to like apply your fake tan um, like a full day or even two days before you really want it. Like if you're having a special occasion, you know, date night, prom, vacation, whatever that case, whatever the case may be, um, definitely make sure you give yourself some time for that DHA to develop on your skin and to really give you your tan. But anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and brush my teeth. So I love the Colgate Optic White, so I'm using the, um, so I'm using the mouthwash as well as the toothpaste and I'm really happy with it. I'm going to do some mouthwash. Guys, this might be TMI, but the one like pregnancy symptom, the one thing that I cannot stand is brushing my teeth. Like, look, I actually gagged. I'm not gonna show that on camera, but like, ugh. it was awful during the first trimester. I still deal with it now, but oh my gosh, the first trimester and brushing my teeth, 
no, never again. So because I applied my tan, I'm not going to be applying any moisturizers and stuff, but I'm just putting more of my Laneige lip mask. I'm not gonna be putting on moisturizers, but I still want to show you guys what I use. Um, so for my belly, I apply this twice a day, sometimes even three times a day if I'm just home and chilling and stuff. And it is bio oil. As you can see, I'm almost out of this. I've already gone through a full bottle in my pregnancy so far. So I'm about to be done with another bottle of this. But I use this with Kayvon as well. I got absolutely no stretch marks. So people say stretch marks are genetics. And I'm not going to fight with science. But all the women in my family did get stretch marks. I personally did not get a stretch mark with Kayvon. And I used bio oil and Palmer's cocoa butter. Like, I'm not kidding when I say I drench my belly three times a day. Um, I feel like some people just kind of put it on like once a day if they remember and then they say that they oil their belly. Like, no girl, you need to be on it if you really wanted to like do something for you. Three times a day, your belly needs to be glistening, okay? Like you should be able to fry a samosa on your belly. But again, that's just my experience. I don't want to say that. And then someone's like, well, I, oil I oiled my belly, you know, six times a day and I still got stretch marks. Take my advice with the grain of salt, but this worked for me guys. And this combo, um, actually for Kayvon, I just use like the moisturizer, like you guys know, like the pump moisturizer of the Palmer's cocoa butter. But I saw this at Target and it's like a actual bomb. So I use this on top of the bio oil. So that's what I've been doing for the belly. And then like I mentioned to you guys, I've been using the Trader Joe's body gel cream. This is what it looks like amazing you guys really affordable again it has that like gel serum consistency so if you like that with moisturizers you're really gonna like this so that's the moisturizers i've been using lately Perfect timing to give me a little foot rub. I'm gonna go check the doors downstairs. I'm literally carrying two of your children. I said I need to go lock the doors downstairs. And then you almost wash my feet? Yeah. You better seem a little bit more enthusiastic than that, mister. I got you. Okay. So I always put on foot cream. I have the world's driest feet. Like, I'm not gonna lie. It's pretty bad. Um, so I, you guys know I love this O'Keeffe's Healthy Feet Cream, but I just ran out of it. Look, I literally finished it up. I have to go buy some more. So another thing that I like to do, like I would just put this on first and then I'd seal it in with the CeraVe Healing Ointment. But also just using this alone works really well too. So I'll probably just do that. So as you guys saw, I like to read before I go to sleep. I recently got into reading again. I used to read all the time when I was younger, but just life gets in the way and I haven't been really making time. But especially now that it's been a little bit difficult for me to fall asleep with this pregnancy and stuff, I've been trying to not be on my phone and not get trapped on like TikTok and stuff like that and just read instead. So this is the current book I'm reading. It's called One of Us is Dead by Geneva Rose. It's not the best book in the world. Like of all the books that I've read r lately, it's probably my least favorite. I still like it, but it, it can be a little cringy sometimes. You know what I mean? Um, so this is like the best description I have for it. It says, Big Little Lies meets Real Housewives in this juicy thriller. So again, it's like catty drama. Like some things, like the women in this book are like in their mid 30s. And some of the things that they say, I'm like, girl, that is so cringy. You know what I mean? But... There actually is people like that in the world, as we know. So, I mean, I'm into it. It's not bad. Um, again, just don't go out, run out and go buy it. You know what I mean? It's not the greatest book in the world. Um, before I started reading that book, I was reading this book, Pretty Things by Janelle Brown. So I also picked up another one of her books. I haven't started this yet. I'll read this after I finish that one. It's just because I just finished reading Janelle Brown. I wanted a little break before I started reading her again. So I got this book, I'll Be You. So I'm excited to read this once I'm done with that one. And look who's back in time for my foot rub. 
Guys, I'm so happy because today was the first time Mel felt the baby's kick. There's been multiple times I've been like, babe, feel. And he's like, I don't feel anything. But today, he felt them. Mm -hmm. How'd you feel? You happy? Mm-hmm. They were kicking pretty hard. They were. It was so funny because the twins were going crazy in my stomach. And at the same time, Vaughn was going crazy too. Like running around, doing backflips and stuff. Mm -hmm. I'm like... All your kids were kicking. Yeah. They can't see my belly with my big pregnancy pillow in the way. My loves when I wear these little skims pajamas. Hello, you better not fall asleep before my foot rub. Ha ha ha, very funny. If you're gonna lay like that, let me get these blackheads. Yes. Hey, I want them to see my bump. <laughs> Can you see it? Can you see it? My belly. Mm -hmm. Also, you guys saw in that clip, I have that hatch restore like sleep clock. And the great thing about this is you can program a night light on it. So I have a light on it to go for 20 minutes. So that's kind of like my reading light, um, like timer. Not gonna lie, sometimes I do restart it like a few times. So sometimes it'll be 40 minutes to an hour, but it's just nice to know I have that. So it'll tell me like how much time is going by so I don't have to look at my phone. But yeah, guys, that is it for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed this little pregnancy pamper routine. As you guys see, it is pretty low maintenance. I don't have the most energy, you know, these past few weeks. So I'm not trying to do too much, just enough where I feel good and, you know, still maintaining myself. Um, but yeah, don't forget to use my code for way. Make sure you guys click my link down below and we will see you guys for our next video. Bye everyone.